guys. So today I have a gray sexual um, pride look. I'm sorry. I'm going to have background music and there's noise through the wall because my mom is in the shower. So the pipes run right in my wall so I always hear it when someone is in the shower so I have to apologize in advance for that but hopefully it doesn't last the entire video. Sorry guys, I have a bug bite that's just... <sighs> but anyways, you didn't come here to see me ramble, you came here to see me do a pride look. And I'm sorry about the late upload for the one that was meant for yesterday. I literally walked out the door with my laptop open hoping it would stay on for 10 minutes because that was my only choice. So it did not upload like I wanted it to, so it is coming out. Hopefully before this one it should have been out. Um, and I'll deal with actually putting it in the pride thing in a bit, but not that far yet. <laughs> but we're going to do a primer today because I didn't do it yesterday and I'm not trying to break out. Um, so I'm using a L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer. It's just a little jar of primer. It doesn't take very much to get it all over your face, but it does take a couple of those with it. And I'm realizing what I forgot right away is makeup wipes, but it's fine. We don't need them right this second, so I'm not going to get up and get them. Alright. And I'm going to kind of do little flips of it. And see how far out that'll go. So that was just a tiny little bit, and I've gotten actually a decent chunk of my face. Not as much as I would like, it doesn't spread as much as I would like, but... You know, it could be worse, so... Not even going to complain. And I'm not covering my eyes because I have a special primer for my eyes. If you guys don't have a primer for your eyes and you want to go ahead and use, um... This, for priming your eyes, just be really, really careful. I don't recommend doing it. Normally when I do primer, even before I got the eye primer, I didn't prime my eyes just because I didn't trust myself to do it, but if you feel brave, you're free to try. And you guys will notice the background music. I am feeling like having music on today. I don't know why, I've just had to have some form of background noise all day, and I'm hoping that this doesn't get copyright claimed. This particular song is Lost Boy by Ruth B. It's an amazing song by an amazing artist. I absolutely love this song, and this is how I got into the artist. Um, so, totally recommend you go and listen to this outside of my video. But I do love the song. Alright. I got my face primed as best I can. Going over it, double checking it. And you can feel the difference between areas that are primed and areas that are not. I swear you can. Alright. Next step. Foundation. And I use two foundations. Because for the life of me, I cannot find a fade on. Eh foundation to match my skin. I've tried so many times and they're always too dark or too light. So I take one nowadays that's slightly lighter, take one that's slightly darker, mix the two of them. The darker is about half as much as the light. Um, just because I found that works really well as a mix because then it doesn't darken me out and make me look super super tan. And put some of this on your neck. Remind me what song you are. Say yes by twice. Yes. A lot of my music is Korean. Don't judge guys. Judgment free zone here, remember? This is a safe space for everyone. 
K-pop fans and everyone are welcome here. And if you guys have music that you want to hear in the background, go ahead and start suggesting it in the comments, so long as the comments stay turned on. I'm still trying to find out why they're turning off, but, you know, I want to interact with you guys, so hopefully at least one or two of you will be able to get a suggestion in before the comments decide to turn themselves off. Or YouTube turns them off for whatever reason, because, you know, I don't discuss politics and stuff in my videos, but the comments still go off. And I can't find out why. Saved my life. So. Hopefully we get that fixed somewhat soon. Or well, hopefully I get that fixed somewhat soon so that you stars, as I call you guys. It's my nickname for you guys. Um, hopefully I get that fixed soon so that I can interact with you guys and actually have you guys ask me questions and give me suggestions and stuff in the comments. Because I'd love to do that if YouTube would cooperate with it. But they don't. For whatever reason, they have decided that turning my comments off is necessary. And I have no clue as to why. If anyone has any clue as to why YouTube would be turning off my comment section when I myself am not doing it? Because I've gone through and like triple checked my settings, guys. It's not me. If someone knows why YouTube would be doing it and can help me figure it out, that would be amazing. Because I have no clue. I'm 19, so it's not like I'm a minor. Um. I blanked out on what I was saying. There's all kinds of stuff that I talk about in my videos, but never has politics or anything inappropriate been one of them. And I just have no clue why YouTube has decided that turning off the comments in my videos is necess necessary. So. If someone wants to help me figure that one out, that would be much appreciated, because I got no clue. I can't, for the life of me, figure it out. There's foundation. I need makeup wipes now because I think I'm going to be trying products out on the back of my hand just to see how they look side by side because I didn't plan this look out. Because I searched the flag and I was like, oh god, purple, gray, and white. I have a black, a silver, and a white. The black is the closest one of those to gray. Might be using silver as a gray. terrible. I'm sorry. I just love my music. Alright. There. Now that the back of my hand is clean so that I can actually test products on it. Oh, I forgot my brushes too for my ash. And I haven't cleaned them. You guys get to see how I clean my brushes on video. <laughs> after I clean them normally, but last night it was so late by the time I got home that I just didn't clean up. I didn't clean them, and I forgot to clean them before the video started. So, we're a little bit too late to fix it. We're just gonna deal with it. Because I don't restart videos, I do these in one take. It's a raw take, I don't edit them. None of that stuff. So I'm just like, you know what, everyone screws up. Everyone forgets stuff. It's just being human. And I'm doing concealer right now, and I'm doing it on my nose. 
and my forehead in a three prong flower. And I did it under my eyes because I don't care who you are. You have a dark spot under your eye. Everyone does. There's no shame to it. It just exists. And I'm currently covering up all the blemishes that I'm sure you guys don't have that I do. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to pick this up in the background of the audio. I also don't know what is copywritten and what is not music wise, so if you guys want to send me copyright or er, non copyright in music so I can actually play music in the background of these videos, that would be awesome. As of currently, it is not a possibility. So, I just play my music. And if people want to copyright it, then they can copyright it, I guess. I don't make any profit off of these videos to begin with, so it doesn't make a difference if they copyright it or not. I post these for you guys. I don't post them for profit. I post them because I want to post them for you guys. So if someone tries to copyright my stuff, I mean they're free too. It doesn't make a difference. I'll keep re-uploading it or I'll fight it or anything that's needed. This is a skit by BTS. The, I love these boys. I don't speak Korean. And that's Trivia Love by BTS. Big Hit is the company I'm most concerned about copywriting me. Um... Hopefully they don't. <laughs> That's all I really gotta say on that one. I'm giving you guys proper credit. It's not my music. None of the music play it is. I don't own music. And I'm just blending out my concealer to make sure that it doesn't just look like it's in the same spots and this will help blend it out over your whole face, make your whole face look a little bit more natural because it'll fade out um, into the areas that you don't have it to make it less noticeable that it's there. Alright, there we go. And next up, sorry, I'm trying to put all the stuff that I've used in the same area and everything that I still need goes back here. Don't get rid of your concealer though, guys. Concealer, I swear to God, is the eraser of makeup. If I make a mess up, I use concealer. I forgot this song curse. <laughs> Good thing I'm not listening to Augusti. He, he likes to curse. But anyways, moving on. We're doing bronzer now. And this is RKA by Kiss Mineral Powder Bronzer. And I just have a powder... Uh, I think this is just a powder brush that I'm using for it. Not like a proper powder brush, but like a foundation brush that I just use for a bronzer, because that's what I have. And get some bronzer on it. Not a ton. You don't need a ton with this one. This is a good bronzer. And you're going to go in your hairline, along it, down your jaw, and then suck in your cheek. And it's gonna go in the hollow of your cheek. Can you guys suggest makeup looks for me? I'm going to do a Harry Potter themed one at some point, whether it be at some point during Pride Month or at some point after Pride Month. I'm doing a Harry Potter themed one. I'll probably try a couple of BTS themed ones. Um, possibly for Army. If anyone who watches me is an Army. But outside of that, I'm not quite sure yet. I don't plan a lot of looks, but I want to know what you guys want to see. So, please let me know, guys, if my comments stayed turned on. And then, again, just jawline and then hollow of your cheek. 
um, jawline, hairline, and uh, hollow of your cheek. And if you guys notice me holding makeup brushes over here, I sit on top of white sheets to do my makeup. And I'm not trying to get makeup all over them. And I'm just trying to blend out my bronzer a little bit, not make the edges quite as harsh. I don't want hard edges on my bronzer. And I'll blend it out again after I get some blush and stuff on my cheeks. But I did want to blend it out while it was just the bronzer with that brush. And we're not done with bronzer yet, guys. We take a little, just a thin eyebrow brush, or eye shadow brush, and you're gonna get some of it, your bronzer on it, and you're going to do top, middle, bottom of your nose. And I didn't get quite enough bronzer on here. Sorry, my necklace likes to hit the mirror. And then trace from your eyebrow down into the three dots. Connect the dots, guys. And also, here's another thing. I want you guys to start putting captions on these in the languages that you speak. Because I want other people to be able to use these. I'm a monolid. A lot of people of very um, varying descents, but Asian and Native American descents in particular are known for being monolids. I have monolids. This is the kind of eyeshadow makeup that I do is for a monolid. So I'd like people to be able to start using my way of doing eyeshadow for if they are a monolid. So if you guys could start captioning these in various languages, that would be amazing. I'm gonna start trying to set that option back up again to let you guys do that because I would love to see closed captions by you guys in all the languages. I don't think I'm going to do the English ones just because Lord knows how atrocious my spelling would be. I use big words, I don't know how to spell them. I just know what they mean. So there's that. <laughs> but now we're on to blush. And I have an actual blush brush, and I'm using a mink color by LA Colors. And yes, I keep using the same one, guys. I have like two blushes and two bronzers and three highlights. And I want to use the ones that I know work. So I just keep going back to the same ones. Alright, and get some blush on your brush don't get too much um you get too much and it'll turn out really bright this is a really well pigmented color so you don't need much of it and then if you need to suck in your cheek again to find the hollow of your cheek the, go ahead and do that but you're gonna put right above that bronzer and this is the top of your cheekbone this right here is where the highlight goes this should be right around where the blush goes and this is where the bronzer goes so there are three areas for that stuff and go ahead and put the blush on. I'm doing a little bit on both sides off of the same swipe of the brush because I know how bright this blush can get and I don't want bright pink cheeks. That's not my goal. All right, there you go. And then highlight. There we go. I was looking for this brush. <laughs> And it's a fan brush, very simple, very easy. I found this one at Walmart. I need to re-glue it because... So I need to get the glue and glue this, but for now it works. And I'm using a Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlight Powder. Which one is this? Miss Right by BTS. And I know their songs, I know the words to their songs. I don't do names to people or songs. I just know what they are. <laughs> and I'm trying to get some of the highlight off of the sides of this container because it's just been sitting there. But 
get as much as you want to shine as much as you want because you are stars and then put it on the um, part right above your blush on the top of your cheekbone so right about here is where it should be and then the same on the other side then if you want to you can do it like in the middle of your nose or whatever that's why I put the concealer there though because I find that it works to um, kind of highlight that area and I do it on my chin to highlight it if I'm not breaking out if I'm breaking out I'm honestly just trying to cover the breakout <laughs> and I've been breaking out really bad lately I need to do another face mask and I'll do a review the next time I do my face mask whether it be on TikTok or I do it here on YouTube and ramble and do multiple product reviews at once that's yet to be determined but next blending and I have a specific brush for this if you don't have a blending brush literally just get a spare powder brush just have a second powder brush that you use specifically for blending that works just as well as a blending brush and just blend out your makeup make it not look quite so harsh of lines and make it blend with each other a little bit better I'm blending on my nose because I know the lines on my nose looked a little bit harsh. There you go. Just blend it on out. And then, setting powder. I'm opening it off the side of my bed. Cool. I'm gonna just go ahead and set that there. And I am using a CoverGirl Clean Professional Setting Powder in a color that matches my skin. Find what one matches your skin. Don't be scared to get a couple of them from Walmart. Literally, 90% of my makeup is from Walmart or Ipsy. And what's not is Dollar Store or um, Sally's Beauty. I don't go to expensive places for makeup. There's no point in it. it just the stuff that I buy or I get from Ipsy works just as well. And Ipsy if you guys don't know is a makeup box it's a bag if you just get the cheapest one I upgraded it because I make the money that I can um, and it was a special offer for me and it's so I get a box but if you get the bag and the starter one um, it's five test size products which still last ages and I lost my train of thought what was I saying sorry it's five test size products that last ages and they're of every brand just take every box and then go do through and do the rest of the quiz via how you do your makeup do you use a lot of bright colors often do you not I had to go through and update my quiz because I've been using a lot of bright colors and makeup lately doing these videos for you guys and you can update it depending upon how your tastes are that year or for a couple of months if it's an extended period of time but it's not quite a year or so and then you can update it and then go back and update it again after you're out of that phase so there's that anyways powder because I'm sat here waving my powder brush around you're gonna just smear it all over your face this helps set the base makeup that you guys just did this is Fall Out Boy American Rejects I believe no American Beauty American Psycho but it is Fall Out Boy like I thought it was. There we go. And I'm setting my neck because I know how bad it gets at work. Working FedEx is a hard job, guys. Alright, there we go. And I moved my mirror because the last time I did makeup and I didn't move my mirror. And there's now makeup powder all over it that I need to clean off. Alright, and now we're on to eyeshadow. Which involves, you know, cleaning my thing. So, cleaning my brushes. So, we're going to go ahead and chat <laughs> while I do that. If you guys don't want to stick around and hear me rambling, that's 100% fine. That's understandable. But if you guys are here and you want to hear my rambling and, you know, hear the random stuff that I talk about, 
as I try and come up with ways to keep you entertained while I clean my brushes, you are 100% free to stay. And I'm going to show you guys how to clean your brushes too. So cleaning your brushes, you get a makeup wipe and put it over your hand, part way over your palm, mostly over your fingers, and you're going to take your brush and run it in between your fingers. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is where my fingers are. This is the in-between part that I'm running it through. And you're going to clean it like that. It cleans off most of the excess makeup and you still need to clean them about once a month or so to actually get everything 100% of the way off. But this is a good way to keep them more clean and keep, you know, um, makeup from just sitting on them. So if you do this after each use, it'll help, or before you use them, if you ran out of time, like I did, I don't use that one, and just run it in between your fingers, and then on your palm for a second. Just do it in circles on your palm for a second to see how much is still there of that particular eyeshadow. If you can tell, I had white and gray silver on these. So it's kind of hard for me to tell. Um, so if you can tell, then that's awesome. Like if you had a brighter color on it. If you can't tell, that's okay too. Just try and do it based off of other times that you've cleaned your brushes. This one I can tell because it's a black. This is the one that I was using for the black yesterday in my demisexual look. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Lady Luck, and this is a live version, but it's by a group called EXO. Again, K-pop, I am aware. 90% of the music I listen to is not American. Because I like the message in most of the K-pop songs. They have very good messages that a lot of people can relate to, whether they believe it or not. Alright, I'm just cleaning this last one off. This one was silver, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to tell if it's all off or not, but I will try anyway. Oh, it actually stands out against the white, because it's just an off enough shade that you can tell. Alright, there you go. And as you can tell, it does pretty good at cleaning your brushes. It's a fairly effective method to clean your brushes after each use. And I normally do it right after my usage of them. I just, like I said, did not have time to yesterday. And today I'm actually going to do my eyeshadow primer. And this one is by Hard Candy. It's the Eyes the Limit eyeshadow primer. It's a pretty good one. It's a little bit liquidy if you don't shake it up just right. So you gotta sit here and shake it. Shake it for a second until you feel the liquid stop moving in it. I've been experimenting with how to get it to be less liquidy and this is the way to get it the least liquidy that you can. There we go. And just get a little bit, it doesn't take much, or it shouldn't take much anyway. And then it just goes right on your eyelid where you're gonna do your eyeshadow. And I do it all over my eyelid. Because I do eyeshadow all over my eyelid. But you know, if you don't, that's 100% fine as well. And that took a little bit more than I expected it to. So I gotta do a little bit more for the other eye. But. When you shake it up well enough, it should come out as a paste. You just gotta shake it in between uses after the first one. And sometimes even for the first one. I think um, if it was opened at all before you got your hands on it, then you need to shake it. And just shake it in case, because you never know what it was used for or if someone tried to use it in the store for whatever reason or something. There we go. I'm 
and I'm getting it off of my hands because I don't want anything else that I touch to have this stuff on it and I'm getting it out of my eyebrows I don't have to dry eye draw eyebrows on as you guys can pretty clearly tell so I don't um I was very lucky in that aspect That's something I was blessed with was good eyebrows something that my mom has too except for she shaves hers off I don't This one is Go Go by BTS. I can just tell by the beat and the um, particular <laughs> and particular parts of it which song it is. Because this one was played a lot by them when it first came out because it was a very upbeat, happy song. It is a very upbeat, happy song. Don't get me wrong, but you know. Alright. White, I think I'm going to use for the corner of my eye. So we're gonna do purple and gray eyeshadow. <laughs> this ought to be interesting, huh? Alright, and we're going to use. Where's the one that I use? This one. A smudge brush. This is what it looks like. And you're going to find the darkest purple in your possession. That is not a um, glitter eyeshadow, which happens to be this one for me. It is by CoverGirl. This one is a Walmart palette. I spent like $10 getting it, and it's got really good pigmentation and should last me a while, so I don't mind the expense of it. And this just goes all over your eyelids, all the way up. There we go. As you can tell, I go all the way up to my eyebrows and then fill in. And that's what you want to do. You want to fill it in all the way down and do it in a fairly even base layer. Oh, Jesus Christ. The little thing that it comes with to apply it keeps falling out. Anyways, though. <sighs> yes, I rock out to this a lot. Like, I legitimately fall asleep to my music most days. And since 90% of it is K-pop, you know, I can know the words to most of the songs. Again, I don't do names for anything. I've tried. It just doesn't work. And you'll notice the way that I'm doing it, I am putting it in the corner of my eye. That's because I'm going to put white there and it's going to kind of pale out the purple. It won't 100% cover it. Um, because I'm also doing white on my lips. I have a white lipstick that I'm going to use, so... That's just a good way to pale out your colors, is to just apply a lighter color over it. Specifically a white or a really, really light yellow. I personally am doing it in the corner of my eye and under my eyebrow to highlight it as I get finished up. But I am not to that point yet. Alright. And as you can see, I just applied it all over my eyelid exactly what you want to do and then do the same for the other and I don't believe I'd find what I've found for the definition of gray sexual and if I'm wrong then please feel free to correct me if the comments are still on I hope they are I'm trying to fix it guys I swear to god I want to interact with you um, this is MCR or my chemical romance Disenchanted, and this is live from Mexico City. This was their last performance before they broke up, sadly. But anyways, definition of gray, ro eh, gray sexual. And I assume there's a gray romantic as well. I didn't see a flag for it, but if there is one, then I'll go ahead and do a look for it. If someone will send me it, and I'll put my... TikTok and my Instagram both down below in the um, description for people to send me stuff. And I'm not putting my private Instagram 
but I will put my public one. Um, but gray sexual is someone who does not always experience a sexual attraction, according to the site that I got it off of. But they do, <clears throat> they do occasionally. Or they do sometimes, depending upon, you know, how you want to word that. So, someone who sometimes finds people sexually attractive, but mostly doesn't. And that's 100% okay, you know? If you ain't in it for the sex, that's fine. If you're in it for love and affection, then that's 100% okay. Go for it, guys. Like, whatever makes you happy. Again, safe place. I will never judge anyone who comes to my platform. This will always be a safe place for my viewers. Any rude or disrespectful comments that are done will be deleted. Anything, um, trying to call someone out or do personal information will be deleted. I will not put up with it on my platform. It's not happening. So be aware of that if you come here to spread hate i will not stand it and that is as simple as that is my platform is a safe space for everyone it will remain a safe space for everyone i'm not going to have people come here and feel unsafe because that's not right the internet should be a safe space in general but sadly it is not I'm not going to have my platform be one of the spaces that's not safe. And now we're going to use an angled brush. I know I'm switching up a lot. But, you know, I don't want to leave the mood all tense. I'm just trying to warn off the hateful people who unfortunately exist in this world. Who don't want us to lo love the people that we love. And that's not right, but it is what it is. Um, I'm looking for the palette. It has disappeared. I have a little dollar store palette that has a gray on it. Or a silver on it that I used yesterday that I wanted to use again today. But I can't find. There it went. I found it. And again, dollar store palette, guys. Nothing expensive. Just a simple dollar store palette. My brother got it for me for my birthday, and I'm grateful, because he was like, oh, Lila will like that. He legitimately looked at makeup, when I never wear makeup, and was like, ooh, Lila will like that, not knowing that I did makeup on my channel. Either he has a sixth sense, or he is trying to buy for the conventional girl that I am not. Whatever it is, I'm grateful to him, because I keep using the different um, ones that come with it. And with this, we're going to go about a third of the way in on our eye, and go all the way down in a straight line. And I'm dabbing a lot because I don't want to um, draw because that'll pick up some of the purple, and I'm not trying to pick up purple on a brush meant for silver. and just fill in behind that. If you guys can't tell, I have a little angle going on from my eyebrow. I'm trying to get closer to the camera so you guys can tell. Down to the corner of my eye. And I'm filling in between that and the line. And that's what you wanna do. And I'm recording on my laptop, so I'm sorry that it's such an awkward angle that I have to lean in at. That's just what I have for a setup right now. And then the same for the other eye. Fast forward. Oh, I don't know that I've mentioned it on this platform. I do have a tattoo. If you guys want to see a makeup look based off of the colors on my tattoo, which I don't know that I'll be allowed to show because it's on my side and goes fairly high up, um, 
but it's blue, purple, red, and green. And those colors are for a reason. It's not just random colors that I did. It is um, to represent all the females in my family and even the men in my family because I realized after I got it, the favorite colors of most everyone in my family are on this. But it's to represent the important people in my life and it's a big rose on my side. So if you guys want to see a makeup look inspired by that, I will try to. I make no guarantees, but you know, it is what it is. Mm. And once you're happy with the amount of silver, then go ahead and just put the palette away. And again, dollar store palette, guys. Not some expensive, fancy, name brand BS that most of us can't afford. This is from a dollar store. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and do one last shade of purple. Because that's what I have. I don't have anything outside of a black. And that's not a color on this flag, so I don't want to use that. Um, and we're going to use this brush. A smudge brush and we're gonna go with a lighter purple and it's gonna go hold on and I'll show you let me get enough of the purple on my brush and this is gonna go in a straight line along the bottom of your eye and kind of make it a little bit thick but it just goes in a straight line and it's, this is a shade or two lighter. It might not pick up very well on camera, but it is a little bit lighter than the top purple that I have on. And I think it actually has a little bit better of pigmentation. And this is by NYX. It's again a Walmart palette, and it is the Ultimate Shadow Palette. Um, and it's their professional makeup line is what this one comes out of. I picked it up because it was the rainbow. So. <laughs> I didn't pick it up for any particular reason other than it was a rainbow palette and it caught my attention. Because at the time I was trying to plan out a rainbow look. So. That's why I grabbed it. Honestly, just grab makeup that catches your attention, guys. If you can't think of a look for it right that second, I guarantee someone you know can, or you can in the future, or you'll find a use for it. That'll pop up, that'll be unconventional, but it'll work. Alright, and now we're doing the white, and I'm going to clean it in between each dab into it. And we're just using this brush. Which I think is supposed to be for, like, gel eyeliners. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get plenty of white. And this is going to go, and once again I'm dabbing because I don't want to drag it. And it's going to go right under our eyebrow. This is why I'm cleaning it in between uses. Just a quick run over my thing. Not a proper cleaning, but something to keep it white instead of purple. dabbing at it. Oh, I didn't mention what song this is. This is Cloud Nine by EXO. A good little song. Oh. Alright. And you're gonna keep dabbing at it so you're not blending it into your purple because you do want it to exist on its own. It is your highlight for underneath your eyebrow. You take whatever light color you have, if it's to, uh, 
I was trying to start three sentences at once there. I lose control. I think too fast for my mouth right then. <laughs> Most of the time. Um, so, if you want to blend it in, you're free to. I don't highly recommend it. But, you know, because today is a demisexual look, I'm trying to stick to the demi, or not a demi, sorry, a gray sexual look. I did demi yesterday, and that's kind of got me screwed up because there's a lot of similar colors. The only color that's missing is the black. Um, but, because this is a gray sexual look, I'm trying to have the white stand out on its own. And again, I have white lipstick that I'm going to use. If you don't have a white lipstick, that's okay. You can use a purple lipstick or a gray lipstick if you have one. I don't know that they make gray lipstick, so you might have to use a black one and lighten it uh, in one way or another. I don't know how you would, so that one would be up to you to figure out, but, you know, it is a possibility. And again, just repeat it on the other eye. Just wherever there's eye or eyeshadow underneath your eyebrow is where white is going to go. Alright, there we go. And just keep dabbing at it. It'll eventually Dirken in and either replace the purple or pack on top of the purple or something in such a way that it'll show. And then do the same with the silver. The silver, it's easier to get it to show um, than it is with the purple because the purple is such a dark color. But it will eventually show over top of the purple too. You give me, give me, give me. And this is Heaven's Gate by Fallout Boy. It's a good song. I'm gonna say that about all my songs, though. These are all songs that I enjoy listening to by artists that I enjoy listening to. And again, in the corner of my eye. had my mirror fall. <gasps> that was what that was. That was a reaction to grabbing my mirror. <laughs> and these just fell too, but I'm okay with that. Oh, okay. That's just an eyeshadow palette. It's replaceable. The mirror I ain't trying to break. I have bad enough luck as it is. Yes, I'm a little bit superstitious. I grew up with a grandmother from the south. She is from Louisiana. You are a little bit sub superstitious when you grow up in a southern family. That's just how it is. Alright. And a little bit more in the corner of my eye. I do want it to stand out. And normally I have a kind of sparkly yellow that I use in there. That's, again, from the dollar store that my brother... The set of palettes that my brother got me from the pal... Uh, set of palettes my brother got me from the dollar store. <laughs> no, I don't struggle with English. Not at all. <laughs> I think part of it is I just start talking too fast. And, again, my mind gets ahead of my mouth. <laughs> and it's also kind of difficult because I'm talking to myself when I talk. And I know I'm talking to a camera and to you guys technically, but in my bedroom, I am alone. And so it's like, oh, you're talking to yourself? I'm going to screw with your mouth. So, there's that. <laughs> but anyways... Now, we're doing the white lipstick. 
And this is a Sparkling Quartz by Revlon. The, again, Walmart, guys. I swear to God, Walmart is my saving grace for my products. I still need to get black makeup stuff from them because I haven't found any. But outside of that, they have all kinds of stuff. And just apply it. Is this boys with the fun? No, My City by BTS. And I'm leaning back because I'm sure you guys don't want to see the facial expressions I make when I apply, like, apply lipstick. And this is a little bit melty, but that's okay. It just helps you put it on extra well. And you guys will notice, like, with the demi and the gray, I'm not doing super out-of-the-closet looks. Um... I feel like a lot of people, when they're demi or they're gray, either are questioning it and are not quite sure yet, or if they are sure, they are not out of the closet yet. Just because that's the sexuality that's really hard to describe. So, to be fair to those who are not out of the closet yet, I'm going ahead and doing more muted looks. So, that's why I'm doing that. And there we go. That's the makeup look. You guys probably can't see it that well with my glasses on, huh? Just thought about that. <laughs> There's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know. Somehow hit the like button or leave a comment if the comments are still working or that kind of stuff. I want to hear feedback from you guys, however you can do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this is a little bit longer of a video, but... Hopefully you guys didn't mind and you enjoyed, and you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Pride book.